When a person thinks of San Francisco, a giant international orange-colored bridge, a park spanning more than 1,000 acres, or a city where contemporary art and culture collide comes to mind. Welcome to Watchzilla, today we are going to give you one of the most beautiful cities in the United States and the jewel of Northern California, San Francisco. Set along the ocean, with rolling hills and the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. The city is full of history, great neighborhoods, parks, beaches, museums, and a whole host of entertainment options and things to do. While these mainstays never lose their luster, the reasons to visit San Francisco are even more numerous. Where most visitors go might surprise you. Some of the most famous attractions are Alcatraz Island and Fisherman's Wharf, but the sightseeing possibilities here are extensive. San Francisco's Chinatown is the largest of its kind in North America and is worth visiting. For an interesting experience, hop on one of the historic cable cars and tour the city. Number 12. De Young and Legion of Honor. The De Young and the Legion of Honor are known as the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. You will find the De Young just across the street from the California Academy of Sciences in Golden Gate Park. It's home to a large collection of fine arts focused on the Americas, Africa, and Asenia. You will find everything from photography to textiles. The Legion of Honor is in San Francisco's Lincoln Park near Land's End. The fine art collection here is focused on ancient and European art. Highlights in this museum include works from August Troden, Claude Monet, and an interesting piece by Pablo Picasso. Make sure to plan, because if you want to enter both museums on one ticket, you must visit each of them on the same day. Number 11. Oracle Park. Home of the San Francisco Giants, Oracle Park is a fun place to take in a baseball game while visiting the city. Located on the city's scenic waterfront, this classic urban ballpark is a short walk from downtown and the Moscone Center and is accessible by every means of public transit. If you want to gaze out over the ballpark to the sublime view of the ocean, buy tickets along the first base or third baselines or behind home plate. If you aren't able to see a game, consider taking a 90-minute ballpark tour for a behind-the-scenes look at places off-limits to most people. You can learn about the historic moments that have taken place here and explore the architecture. Tours are scheduled around games and do not run every day, so check the online calendar in advance. Number 10. Exploratorium. Kids of all ages will love spending time at the Exploratorium. It is often described as a hands-on science and human perception museum. This museum, or as it refers to itself, a learning laboratory features 600 hands-on exhibits that cover a plethora of subject matter, such as engineering, psychology, geography, and biology. This expansive museum of San Francisco's Piers 15 and 17 features exhibits on everything ranging from famous local fog to human cells and more. The museum spreads its knowledge over six main galleries, each with its standout interactive offerings. You can also learn more about light, sound, and human interactions. While many of the exhibits are hands-on, you will also find a lot of exhibits that change constantly, so you will have a new experience every time you visit it. Adults report feeling just as excited and amazed at the galleries and exhibits as kids. Though if you prefer to experience the Exploratorium without having to deal with kiddos running around, a few visitors suggested stopping by on a Thursday evening, when the attraction is open to visitors 18 years and older. Regardless of the time you arrive, travelers say there is so much to see and do, you could easily spend a whole day there. And though the high price of admission might turn some off, many agree that the experience is worth the price. Number 9. Coit Tower. 
As you look up Telegraph Hill in San Francisco, you may notice the cylindrical tower that looks a little like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. This is the Coit Tower. Completed in 1933, the tower stands 210 feet high and is one of the best places for panoramic views of the city. This monumental love letter to the city remains a welcome sight for people traveling westbound across the Bay Bridge. At the top is the tower's observation deck with amazing 360-degree views of San Francisco and the Bay. The sights that lie before you include Lombard Street, Pier 39, the downtown skyscrapers, the Golden Gate Bridge, and Alcatraz. Inside the tower are wonderful murals painted in the early 1930s, depicting views of daily life during the Depression, painted by more than two dozen artists, some of whom were disciples of famed Mexican muralist Diego Rivera. The tower is named after its benefactor, Lily Hitchcock Coit, who was a wealthy and somewhat eccentric lady. Number 8. Angel Island State Park. Escape the chaos of the city with a visit to the tranquil Angel Island. This is one of two San Francisco attractions that require you to take a ferry if you want to visit them. The other being the more famous, or infamous, Alcatraz Island. Angel Island used to be a sleepy island used by locals for fishing and hunting for many thousands of years. In the mid-1800s, the federal government seized the land to use it to help protect the bay from intruders. It was used as an army base and later as an immigration detention center. Today, top activities include hiking, biking, and other outdoor activities. Some of the old army and immigration buildings are also open to visitors. It's a great place to learn more about the history of the island. There are also guided tours and a place to rent bikes. Ferries leave for the island in the morning and return in the mid to late afternoon. It's a full day trip, and it's a perfect addition to any itinerary. Number 7. Chinatown. You may have been to Chinatown in other cities, but San Francisco's Chinatown is a whole other realm. It is both the largest Chinatown outside of Asia and the oldest of its kind in North America. Almost destroyed in the 1906 earthquake, Chinatown was rebuilt entirely in the Chinese style and was soon even more attractive than before the disaster. Now with its temples, theaters, workshops, small businesses, stores, antique and souvenir shops, tea houses, and traditional pharmacies, visiting Chinatown has become one of the top things to do in San Francisco. If you are traveling through San Francisco during an important Chinese holiday or event, you can expect to see an elaborate celebration. Chinese New Year celebrations are often considered the best in North America. The main street in Chinatown for tourists is Grant Avenue, with the Chinatown Gateway at Grant Avenue and Bush Street. Number 6. Golden Gate Park. Inside Golden Gate Park you will find almost a dozen attractions and activities. This 1,000-plus acre man-made park is home to many other top San Francisco attractions, including the California Academy of Sciences, the Conservatory of Flowers, and the Botanical Gardens. It's also where you will find the Japanese Tea Garden, Stowe Lake, and the De Young Museum of Fine Art. Golden Gate Park is home to several beautiful gardens. It's one of the favorite places to go running or head out for a long walk. There are so many wonderful San Francisco attractions inside it and so much beauty all around the park itself. At the far western end of the park, you will also find the Beach Chalet where you can grab a bite to eat as you admire the Pacific Ocean through its floor-to-ceiling windows. This is also where you will find the Golden Gate Park Welcome Center and you can pick up maps and find a full range of fun things to do here. Number 5. California Academy of Sciences. The California Academy of Sciences, in Golden Gate Park, is an architectural marvel, as well as a multifaceted museum. 
This state-of-the-art green building with a sustainable design has a 2.5-acre living roof covered with native plants and even rolling hills to match the natural surroundings. The roof also has solar panels to generate electricity and the soil acts as natural insulation. The walls are largely made of glass allowing for natural light. Inside is an incredible natural history museum, planetarium, aquarium, rainforest, and more. The Steinhardt Aquarium includes some 38,000 live specimens and a 25-foot deep coral reef. The Osher Rainforest is four stories high and houses animals and amphibians in a fantastic layout. You can descend in a glass elevator to the deepest depths and look up through an acrylic tunnel to see fish swimming overhead in the flooded forest. The Kimball Natural History Museum has skeletons of a T-Rex and a blue whale, along with an array of interesting exhibits. Number 4. Cable Cars. Another one of the must-see San Francisco attractions is the historic cable cars. Chances are, you've seen a television show, movie, postcard or some type of San Francisco memorabilia emblazoned with the city's iconic cable car or trolley. So, of course, to fully experience San Francisco's charm, you should hop on board. These cars have been cruising around San Francisco's streets since 1973. In the late 1800s, many wealthy San Francisco residents were building or living on the top of some of the highest hills. It was difficult for the horses and carriages to safely get up and down these hills. That is why the city of San Francisco started to build cable car lines. Though cable cars are seldom used by locals, tourists flock to them in droves. By 1889, they had eight different cable car lines running through the city. Today, there are still four lines running that service three cable car routes. Two of them run from Fisherman's Wharf to Union Square. The third run up the California Street Hill from the Financial District to Knob Hill. More than 9 million visitors ride cable cars each year, and according to recent travelers, it's easy to see why. Tourists had a blast riding the cable cars up and down San Francisco's vibrant streets. Even though some said they encountered long lines to board, the majority of visitors believe the wait to be worth the experience and a must-do in San Francisco. Though if you're not one for long lines, some say to board at one of the stops along the line instead of at the beginning. Number 3. Fisherman's Wharf. Fisherman's Wharf is one of San Francisco's most popular tourist areas. If this is your first visit to the city and you only have a day or two to see the sights, Fisherman's Wharf is one of the best places to visit. This old section, once the Little Italy of San Francisco, is known for its shops, restaurants, and beautiful setting along the waterfront. The views from Pier 39 back towards the city are exceptional. It's a fun place to stroll around and get a taste of the city. From here, you can also take a sightseeing cruise for spectacular views of the city or organize a fishing charter. The docks by Pier 39 are some of the best areas in the city to see sea lions. Some of the main attractions in the area are Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, Musée Mécanique, Ripley's Believe It or Not, and Ghirardelli Square. Restored 19th and 20th century ships line the waterfront at the Hyde Street Pier, which is now the San Francisco Maritime National Historic Park. The USS Pampanito, a National Historic Landmark, is a World War II submarine and part of the San Francisco Maritime National Historic Park. Pier 39, located in this general area, is home to more than 50 stores and unique places to eat. Number 2. Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge is another one of the most visited San Francisco attractions. This 1.7-mile gem connects San Francisco with Marin County and points farther north. Originally finished in 1937, this free attraction in San Francisco opens its doors daily to visitors. The eastern side of the bridge has a large sidewalk for pedestrians. It opens just before sunrise each morning and closes after dark each night. 
either before or after your walk on the bridge, make sure to check out the small museum on the southern San Francisco side. You will learn a little more about the bridge including some fun facts and history about it. You will also find a gift shop, snack shop, and a small restaurant on the same side. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. Alcatraz Island. The historic and notorious Alcatraz Penitentiary, located on Alcatraz Island in San Francisco Bay, is one of America's most infamous prisons. It operated for almost 30 years, closing in 1963 and reopening as a tourist attraction in 1973. Some of America's most well-known criminals were inmates here, including Al Capone and The Birdman, who would later form the basis for the fictional movie The Birdman of Alcatraz. You can take a ferry over to the island and tour the site while listening to an exceptional audio recording that offers a glimpse into life in the prison, rather than just a historical list of the facts. The narration is even voiced by former inmates and guards of Alcatraz. In the course of its 30-year existence, the penitentiary received a total of 1,576 convicts. There were never more than 250 at any one time, even though there were 450 cells, measuring about 10 feet by 4 feet. At times the number of guards and staff was greater than the number of convicts. While most people come for the history or the novelty of seeing a former prison, the island is now a prominent area for nesting seabirds. An easy, convenient, and time-saving way to see Alcatraz and some of the other highlights of San Francisco, like Fisherman's Wharf, Chinatown, and the Golden Gate Bridge, is to take a combined Alcatraz and San Francisco City tour. If you have only one day to explore the city and Alcatraz is on your must-see list, the tour is the best option. Alcatraz regularly sells out, so booking in advance is strongly advised. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watchzilla and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.